the guests continue, and now we bring in Randy Owen and we bring in Riley Green uh, to the Rick and Bubba Show. Brother, how are you? So, so Riley, welcome back. See y'all then. Uh, Randy, welcome back. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. It's for a great cause. And yeah. So so Riley is here. What do you think about Riley Green? I love Riley. Uh, I do too. I, I think, I'm, I'm I think he's pr- got a future, don't you? Yeah. I'm very proud of him and because we communicate. Yeah. He will text me sometimes if I, you know, and it's, it's really a great to see a kid that's done so well. And, uh, you know, I'm just very proud of him and. It's like a. Uh, it's a legend talking about yeah, you, I, by I, the way. I, just, you know, I think Randy swell as well. <laughs> yeah, and Riley, of course, you you got to have fun, you know, with one of your songs lately uh, about granddaddies. Um, this whole Bud Light thing. Um, yeah, I know. I noticed you made an adjustment on that song at least live. <laughs> we, we were. We got a video of that yeah, the yeah, next it's, day. It's, it's strange that they they cheered so loud for that too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the whole deal was about. I just <laughs> yeah. changed the type of beer that was in a song. Right. You People don't know what crap. Fifty something thousand. You, you were like, where did that come from? It was. It was kind of strange. You're sitting there in front of fifty something thousand people at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, and I realized. Hang on a second. I'm about to get booed. Yeah. Right. If I sing the song that I wrote. So oh, yeah. A little slot adjustments ended up going pretty well, you know. So Was you concerned making an adjustment that people might freak out, or did you know that it would be a, a safe harbor I, I, to change it that what way? What I've got going for me that, you know, over anything is I know who I'm singing to. Yeah. I know the people that are out there. I know my demographic, and I know what. Right. I think Bud Light forgot. I think, I think you're exactly right. Yeah. They really did. The only way that marketing plan could have ever worked if I was in the conference room was negative. Because there's people who may have different worldviews than we do, but they're drinking Bud Light. So do you really think you're going to win over more new customers? That's going to be a bigger number than the customers you're going to upset. I don't even know how to ever got out of the conference room. Yeah, I, my, my thing was, you know, I was the furthest from trying to find any controversy. I was trying to avoid it. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Bud Light is the yeah. one that started a controversy. Yeah. Right. right. They put you in that situation. Yeah. I mean, you know, a song that 50-something thousand people were going to boo me over. And, and it's been a pretty popular <laughs> song for a few years. And so. when you're a performer, booing's really not something you it's look not forward really, to. Of course, you know? I, I will say that the very next song when I talked about Alabama beating Tennessee in Nissan Stadium, <laughs> yeah. I did get quite the boo there. That, yeah. that, had, that was not Bud Light's fault. But, that but that's football. You, you don't change that. You're loyal to that. Right. <laughs>